Hello viewers, in this video we'll be going over WTA crude oil. At this moment we do not have a forecast model for this week due to unprecedented in price movement in oil and even in recent history. So at the moment we'll just go over the technical analysis for WTI crude oil. Today we're down 2.8% on the one hour chart. We are nearing over sold RSI. We're now at negative MACD. We dipped into a negative MACD on the four hour chart over the weekend and now we're oversold on the four hour RSI. However, if we expand out further to the daily chart, we are not oversold on the daily RSI yet and we start to see a divergence in play on the daily MACD, meaning we may see a lower price level or a continuation of dip for WTA crude oil due to the lackluster oil cut in OPEC and OPEC plus. So there is a deep concern that this continuation of decline may persist and hit multi-year support that dated back to say 2001 back in November 19, 2001, oil made lows of $17.12, so we may attempt to reach that level in near term. So if we do manage to fall lower, the price movement is roughly around, let's say, it is around 11.9% to the downside. However, if we do make a reversal and head up higher, that price movement is roughly around 23% to the upside at around the price of $23.84. Reason why I mark that as our resistance, that coincides with the nine day moving average, this blue line, and that also act as our previous support. And since we're below support level, that now act as our resistance. And one thing to note, if we examine XOP, the ETF for oil and gas exploration, we do still have a long way down to reach to previous support back in mid-March. And XOP has been rallying with the broader market. So XOP has some room to fall down lower. And the support was back in... I would say $31.10 and if we do fall lower and hit that range that price movement is roughly around 17% to the downside however if we do bounce off this nine day moving average this blue line we may attempt to reach and close the gap that was made between March 6 and March 9th and that coincides with resistance of the 50-day moving average, this yellow line. So that is around the price of $50.30. So if we were to move up higher, that price movement is roughly around 31% to the upside to hit previous or to hit resistance. So if you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.